you and Lindsay have played a lot of volleyball together. What was it like to see her at the weekend she did? Um, everyone already knows that Lindsay could play like that every single weekend, and so seeing her break out and play like how we all know she can was amazing. And I hope that was a lesson for her that she could do that all the time. And Lauren was coming off a, a, a nice match too. What is it? How much does it open things up to have your left side producing the way they did? Um, when you have a pin that can produce the way that they both do, it opens up our back row, opens up the middles, the right side, and so just having a pin that can put the ball away out of system and in system is really important to our offense, and so now that they've pretty much been taking over their role, it's going to put a lot more pressure on the other team's defense. You see those match performances carry over into practices then? and sustain some confidence then? Yeah, it's a lot more competitive. We're trying things that we haven't tried before just because once we master the basics, then we can keep moving on. And so practice is just, we're getting a lot more creative and we're able to move on. Yeah, strength, uh, open, uh, strength, uh, be at home so much to start, does that put some pressure on these though? Knowing there will be a lot of road games down the way that they can try to bank as many as home runs? Yeah, we want to protect home as much as we can. Um, we want to win for our fans and for the crowd and for the university, and so getting as many home games as we can to start and winning those, that's really important. And just, we traveled a lot for our preseason, and we know how hard it is to play away, especially in the big crowds. Hawaii was tough, and Nebraska, they both have really big crowds that bring the energy for them. And so just getting all the wins that we can at home, and then um, translating that to the away games so we can keep going with our record. When you play a team like Washington State, they might not even be one of the five best in the conference. How intimidating is that? What What is your preparation for non conference We've um, talked about the faceless opponent since I've been here, and so just remembering that we have there's nine Pac-12 teams in the top 25, and so every match that we have is going to be a challenge, whether it's the 12th ranked team in Pac-12 or the number one ranked team, they're going to bring it every night. And so just having the same mentality every game, stepping into it, and knowing that it doesn't matter who you're playing, you're going to have to give it all every match. It seems like we talked about the most dig since Amanda Benson, 35, and that's time for seven close. I mean, just how do you describe what she's doing in the back of the It's crazy. It just, it just gives a bunch of confidence to our setter, to August, and to everyone on the floor knowing that if we don't put a solid block up that we're going to have defense that can be back there covering us and she's been incredible. Yep. We, I think we struggled yep. the most in our defense last year and so just having that, her back there as a reliable player to get everything up and she hustles, she has so much heart and um, she's determined to get everything up so it's just, her, she puts a lot of confidence in the front row to put it away for um, just that we need to follow the game plan. Pretty much everything, every team that we've played has done exactly what has been on the game plan. And so instead of us trying to do our own thing and then figuring out later that we had to listen to Matt in the beginning, um, maybe starting to listen to him right from the start, which is hard because no one else listens. Just kidding. What if it's cold better stay in there It's... We don't really have to tell them anything. They're, everyone on the court is just as determined to get the next point as a senior or upperclassman or underclassman. Everyone wants to win. And so it's more in practice to keep pushing in practice and push us just like it is in the game. So games, it's not hard to have them bring the energy. They're out there and they want to prove themselves. So that's nothing that we have to talk about. Right now, I'm feeling really good. I think our team is playing really well together. The past couple practices or past couple weeks of practice have been really good. Um, I just think we've been playing really well together, uh, really disciplined volleyball. I think that showed in our past couple games, so I'm feeling pretty confident right now. Is there an adjustment for you midway through that match against Washington State? It seemed like you get a lot better down the stretch. Um, yeah, just kind of listening to what Matt had to tell me. Matt helped me throughout you know, the whole game. Uh, it was nice being matched up on their smaller setter. That helped with a lot of the kills that I had. I think just staying high and hard was a big key for me, just staying above the block. That's what I have to do because I can get up there and bring it down. It's kind of something that brings me down when I start swinging low. So I think, yeah, just staying up at the top of the block really helped me. Monica also mentioned just listening to Matt as one of the keys for you guys. 
guys. How, what, what kind of volleyball mind is he? What's it like to be around volleyball? Matt says he just wants to find us as many points as he can, and I think that's what he does. He doesn't want to bother us or annoy us while we're on the court or kind of, you know, sometimes coaches talking to players makes them nervous, but for us, he's literally just trying to help us and find us points, and I think that's what he does. He gives us as many helpful tips as he can without intruding on our personal space for our play, so it really helps us a lot. It's great. Is that something that it took you guys some time to figure out, starting with him coming in last year? Um, I think, yeah, it took a little time. I don't think he wanted to be as intruding at first because he wanted to kind of ease okay. into how the team is going to be with him, but now I think we're rock solid with him so he can really do whatever he wants and help us find as many 